working. The working of a DC motor will be clear from the following discussion. Let us suppose that the battery sends current to the armature in the direction shown in the figure. Applying Fleming's left hand rule, motor rule, we find that arm OR experiences a force which is acting outwards and perpendicular to it and arm PQ experiences a force which is acting inwards and perpendicular to it. These two forces from a couple whose movement that is torque makes the armature rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. After the armature has completed half a revolution, that is, has turned through 180 degrees, the direction of current in the arms OR and PQ is reversed. Now arm PQ experiences an outward force and arm OR experiences an inward force. The armature thus continues to rotate about its axis in the same that is anti-clockwise direction. The speed of rotation of the motor can be increased by increasing the strength of the current through the armature, increasing the number of turns in the coil of the armature, increasing the area of the coil and increasing the strength of the magnetic field. Uses of DC motor These are used in the electric fans, exhaust, ceiling or table for cooling and ventilation. These are used for pumping water. Big DC motors are used for running tram car. Small DC motors are used in various toys.